All right, now a quick review of adding and subtracting fractions. 3 20ths plus 5 24 It might help to find an LCD if I factor those denominators. So I'm going to factor 20 into 2 squared times 5. That would be the prime factorization. And I'm going to leave a little space. And then I'm going to factor that 24 into 2 cubed times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. So what I'm going to notice about those is that the LCD can be formed by just noticing which factors each denominator needs. Right? So the first denominator needs to be uh, multiplied by 2 to get a 2 cubed and a 3 that's missing in its factorization. The second denominator needs to be multiplied just by 5. And that's going to give us, what, uh, 2 cubed times 3 times 5, which is 120. Right, so I'm going to multiply the numerators times 6 and 5. And then that's going to give me 18 120ths plus uh, 25 120ths. And that'll be a total of uh, 43 120ths. All right, so we just have to do uh, factorization in order to notice that least common denominator or least common multiple of the denominators. So tips for finding an LCD. Factor each denominator and then write the fa product of all factors uh, for the LCD. And then raise each factor to the highest exponent in each prime factorization. So we've got two denominators here, a squared minus a which factors into a times a minus 1, and then a squared, which I'm just going to leave as a squared. So the factors that will be in the LCD, so the LCD has factors of a and a minus 1, with the a raised to the second power. In b, we have denominators of x plus 2 times x minus 2, and 7 times x minus 2. So the LCD will contain all those factors, and none of them are raised to power, so that's the LCD. And in this last one, m plus 1 and m are different factors, just like 2 and 3 are different factors. If I add 1, it's a different factor. m is not a factor of each of these denominators, only of that second one. Since they're prime factors and they're different factors, I'm just going to include both of them in the LCD, m times m plus 1. All right, try those below and see what you get. All right, there's the LCD for a. It contains factors of n, n plus 1, and n minus 1, with the n squared, since one of the denominators has the n squared. All right, try b. Here's the LCD for b. Now try c. And here's the LCD for c. Notice that c minus 5 squared is the same thing as c minus 5 times c minus 5. All right, let's move on. And we're going to write equivalent fractions. So what you'll notice is that 2x minus 10 is just twice x minus 5. So when I create an equivalent fraction, I multiply the numerator and denominator by the same factor. And that's going to give us 2x over 2x minus 10. Um, n minus 1 times n plus 1 is n squared minus 1. So that means I need to multiply the numerator times n plus 1 as well. And that gives me 6n plus 6 over n squared minus 1. u plus 2 times u plus 4 is u squared plus 6u plus 8. Since I'm multiplying the denominator by u plus 4, I need to multiply the numerator by u plus 4 as well. Try the ones below on your own. Here's the numerator for a, now try b. Here's the numerator for b, now try c. There's the numerator for c. Remember that whenever you are multiplying two numerators together, the fraction bar serves as a grouping symbol so that there are understood parentheses around each numerator and each denominator. That's why I distributed the 3y to both the y and the 1 in c. All right, let's, so now let's get down to the nitty-gritty of how you add or subtract uh, rational expressions with unlike denominators. 
So we're going to find the LCD, write each rational expression as an equivalent expression whose denominator is the LCD, and then add or subtract and simplify. So in example four, we have a plus three over a squared plus three a. Our LCD is going to have a factor of three in it, and it's also going to have a factor of a. In one of the fractions, a is squared, so our LCD is three times a squared. That means that fraction number one, that already has a denominator of a squared, needs to be multiplied by three over three. Fraction number two, that already has a factor of three and a, needs one extra factor of a to become three a squared, so I'll multiply its numerator and denominator by a. Then let's write our equivalent fractions. We have 3a plus 9 over 3a squared plus a over 3a squared. And now we're going to add the fractions together by adding our numerators. 3a plus 9 plus a is 4a plus 9, and we'll keep the denominators 3a squared. In b, we're going to do a subtraction x minus 2 and x plus 3 are prime factors, and they don't share any common factors. That means our LCD is just going to be the product of x minus 2 and x plus 3. So, first fraction, x over x minus 2, needs to have multiplication by x plus 3 over x plus 3. Fraction number 2, x over x plus 3 needs to be multiplied by x minus 2 over x minus 2. So now let's write our equivalent fractions. They're each going to have denominators of x minus 2 times x plus 3, and I'll just leave that factored in the denominator. In the numerator, we've got to do the multiplication because multiplication becomes before subtraction in order of operations. So if I'm going to subtract those numerators, I'm going to need to do that multiplication first. Now, the tricky thing about subtraction is that you need to change your subtraction into addition of the opposite. So I'm going to change this to negative x squared plus 2x. So we change it to addition of the opposite, and then I'm going to keep that denominator x minus 2 times x plus 3. Either order is fine. And now just combine our like terms together, and we've got 5x over x minus 2 times x plus 3. Alright, your turn to try one on your very own. Try A below, and pause the video. All right, there's our result for A. Now try B. There's our final answer for B. All right, let's move on to something just a little bit more challenging. In example five, we have denominators, and it doesn't look immediate, like, like, immediately like they share any common factors, but we need to factor them first in order to find out. So the first denominator factors into 4 times d plus 3, and the second one 5 times d plus 3. So our LCD will actually be 20 times d plus 3. That means that fraction number 1 needs to be multiplied, and I'm actually going to leave that denominator in factored form, but it needs to be multiplied by 5 over 5. And then subtract d minus 2 over 5 times d plus 3 needs to be multiplied by 4 over 4. So numerator is 5d minus 5 over the LCD of 20 times d plus 3 minus 4d minus 8 over the LCD of 20 times d plus 3. All right, so we have 5d 
minus 5. And then we're changing that to adding the opposite. So adding negative 4d is the same thing as subtracting 4d. And then uh, subtracting negative 8 is the same thing as adding 8. And then that's all over the LCD of 20 times d plus 3. So upstairs, combining some like terms together, that's d plus 3 over 20 times d plus 3. Whoops, handy dandy cancellation pen. And remember that d plus 3 in the numerator, when it's canceled, leaves a factor of 1. So that's going to be 1 20th in simplified form. All right, in b, we have two denominators that are simply uh, different factors. For instance, what if k were 2? Then k plus 3 would be 5. No shared factors, right? So that means that the LCD will be just be k times k plus 3. So fraction number 1 needs to be multiplied by k over k, and Fraction number 2 needs to be multiplied by k plus 3 over k plus 3. So we have k squared over k times k plus 3 minus, and then second fraction, we'll have a denominator of k times k plus 3, but we've got to multiply those two binomials together in order to get its numerator which would be k squared minus k minus 12. I'm skipping over the multiplication part because I know you can do that. And then we're going to subtract, which means that we're adding the opposite. So adding a negative k squared plus k plus 12 all over the LCD of k times k plus 3. So it looks like when we combine ter like terms, we've got k plus 12 over k times k plus 3. Final answer. Now let's try c. u minus 4 over u plus 4. And u squared minus 16, the second denominator, factors into u plus 4 times u minus 4. So I think our that's our, actually our LCD right there. So... Fraction number 1 is the only one that needs an extra factor in its denominator. So it's going to be multiplied by u minus 4 over u minus 4. And then we've got a plus 16u over that LCD of u plus 4 times u minus 4. Multiplying the numerators in the first fraction, we've got u squared minus 8u plus 16 over that LCD of u plus 4 times u minus 4 and then plus 16 and I left off the u that was supposed to be in that numerator of the second fraction so 16u and when we add those two fractions we're going to keep those denominators or keep the denominator and add like terms in the numerator. So we've got u squared minus 8u plus 16u is plus 8u plus 16. And this one's kind of fun because it does factor in the numerator into u plus 4 times u plus 4. So time for that handy dandy cancellation pen. And final answer is u plus 4 over u minus 4. And let's try one more with a higher difficulty level. Denominators are x squared plus 4x plus 3, which is x plus 3 times x plus 1, and x squared minus 2x minus 3, which is x minus 3 times x plus 1. So it looks like they both have x plus 1 factors, so in order to create that LCD with all three factors, fraction number one will have to be multiplied by x minus 3 over x minus 3. And then fraction number two 
will have to be multiplied by x plus 3 over x plus 3 in order to produce the same denominator. And then we're going to have to go ahead and multiply those numerators because we need to multiply before we can subtract them. So x squared minus 3x, and I'm just going to shortcut right here the LCD, minus 2x plus 6 over the LCD. If you don't want to write the LCD out for every single step, you can abbreviate it for some of them. And then we have x squared minus 3x. And remember, we're going to add the opposite. So we're adding negative 2x, and we're adding negative 6 over that LCD. So that's going to give us x squared minus 5x minus 6 over that LCD. And x squared minus 5x minus 6 does factor into x minus 6 times x plus 1. Downstairs, I'm going to write out that LCD now. x plus 3 times x plus 1 times x minus 3. Now we can do a little canceling. And the final result is x minus 6 over x plus 3 times x minus 3. Whew. That one was a tough one. Or it's maybe a little bit more involved. All right, try this on your very own. Try A. All right, here's your result for A. Now try B. And there's the result for B. And that's it for this part. Next stop, complex fractions.